Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. Um, first of all, I said I was no, I was gonna said I was gonna be posting a lot because I'm quarantined. Uh, but apparently I can't keep promises. So today we're gonna be doing what's the difference between cassette reissues and cassette original issues. One I actually have real quick. I have it had some tape on it for some reason to seal the case. Let's take this off. Okay, I had, um, Warrant Cherry Pie, this is the original cassette, you can tell, because it's lighter, and it's, it has actually more wear than a new issue would. This, uh, this is the 2004 reissue, probably thinking, cassette in 2004? Yeah, that was the end of cassettes by then, but yeah, this is the, a reissue cassette. Honestly, this is a much better um, design one is because this doesn't have one where it can tear. This is just a fold one. This is the same thing with folded. I remember I just saw something right here. This part right here with the band picture has been ex has the picture itself has been extended. So that's what reissues they. Um, basically, I'd say remaster the covers, but here it just looks, the cover looks really weird. Honestly, it looks all messed up. So does the original. We can look really close. Try and get this to focus. It's not focusing, but, um, if you're up close, you'll see it doesn't look bad. It looks bad. So, we'll do what's better, design, design wise, quality wise. So, well, design wise and quality wise, wise, on the cassette insert and the cassette itself. This is not like oh bias or anything. Seriously, like I said, this is the original. This has some work of tear. This is just folded, so it's not. It's, I think, I believe it's harder to tear. It tore tore right here. Um, so, two pieces. I uh, taped it together on both sides. It's working now, but it's... It's working, I don't know, that's all I can say. Um, this, honestly... This is just original, so there's not... Only problem I have with this is the way it's, de way it's designed. It has the thing where it can rip. This one is good, but these both have their problems on my copy. This one tore, and this one has like a stain. This one has some pen marks, because I use cassette inserts to like make my own. I trace the size. And there's some marks on there. So overall, I'd say just because this is the, uh, Cleaned up. This is oh, I'm also looking for the word. It was cleaned up. This is a cleaned up cover, so I'd say this is the better cover wise. So now, as we move on to cassette, when you look at the reissue, you think, okay, this looks really nice. This looks really nice in mint condition. I got this sealed. This, um, this looks pretty good. The cassette's the better of the original copy. You can see the pressure pad is still there. Still there for this one. I have a problem with this one though. I had to get a reissue. I had to get an uh, original. You don't know why? Because this one, very bad quality. It was squealing. The table itself was squealing. Because it was rough to move. I've only listened to it fully like once or twice. And really, before I did that, the, the farthest I ever went to was probably Slime and Dance Man. But I, I've, actually, I've only listened to it fully once. It's because I, I, cause I really couldn't deal with it. So I bought this one. This one uh, shipped from New Jersey, which where I live. But shipped from another part of New Jersey, so it was, came here faster. 
got this, um, this, I play, I've listened to this, I don't know, five times, not five times, like, at, at most ten times. I haven't listened to it a lot, but, um, I listened to it a lot when I first got the album. Uh, uh, this, um, sound, it's better, it doesn't squeal, it moves, like a cassette showed me, it moves nice and smooth. So if you listen, it, as I turn this one, let's get the pen, use a certain pen to remove these. Put it in there. I'm kind of getting stuck, it's turning the pen. You can hear that. Take this out. Spool it back. Spool it back up. Spool it back up. Okay. Let's do this one. Probably, you can probably hear it. Much nicer. It's much quieter. Easier to move, it doesn't have to physically move the pen. It doesn't move the pen at all. So, yeah, this is. So, tape wise, this is better. So, it's kind of have an added double shot. <laughs> double shot, like, like a double whammy. It's like, like, it's like one part is, is better of the other part. So, I'd say. Overall, what's better? I'd say the original. I'm not, no, I'm not like, oh, guys, it's an original, it's a rare copy. Well, these are all, these are both out of, um, out of print. So, uh, yeah, I'd say, because quality-wise, the original tape. This sounds like, sounds like, you know what, sounds like the S-word. I'm not, I'm not saying it sounds like S-word. I'm not saying it, though. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not saying it, I don't want to get demonetized. I was like, how can you get demonetized, though? You're literally in, like, you're literally in that, that part of YouTube. But, yeah. This quality wise better. So, overall, the original wins the fight. I want to know your, I want to know your part of the story. If you've seen this, you're like, hey, I know, I have the reissue. Uh... If, if you see this and you think, oh no, I know, I have the reissue, comment down below, tell me what you think about it. Personally, I think I just got a bad, bad, um, copy. But I got this, now it's all better, so yeah. I'm gonna do this video for a while, but I've just been holding it off, so. Really hope you enjoyed If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe, turn on notifications, because to know when I post. I do a lot of cassette stuff, I do a lot of music stuff. So, bye.